Welcome. This video is an information science road trip. Our destination, 10 of the field's big ideas. Newcomers to information science will be able to reconnoiter and map unexplored territory. Those who have already taken these roads may find the journey to be more nostalgic. We will proceed chronologically and collect souvenirs along the way. That is, great ideas of information science. Let's go. First stop, the document. In the mid to late 1800s, an event occurred that set off information science from the related enterprise of libraries, which traditionally collect books. This event was an information explosion of documents. Newspapers, magazines, journal articles, maps, brochures, sheet music, photographs, and even recipes were produced and circulated in unprecedented quantities. A European documentation movement emerged to build the technical and social infrastructure of modern document management, laying a foundation for the field of information science. The Bradford Distribution In 1990s London, at the Museum of Science, the former chemist Samuel Clement Bradford was the keeper of the library. He was passionate about providing access to the burgeoning scientific literatures of the day. Bradford noticed that sources of information on any subject could be found in a nucleus of dedicated journals associated with a field. But relevant articles were also scattered across publications that may be associated with other fields. This became known as Bradford's Law of Scattering, shown here. Bradford's insight empowered an area of information science, now known as bibliometrics, that uses quantitative methods to discover patterns within and across literatures. Information. Nowadays, it is perfectly natural to think of information as something separate from the entity that is carrying it, whether that's a document, a technology, or a person. But this was not always the case. So perhaps the biggest idea of information science is the autonomous existence of information itself. This leap was made around the 1950s. Claude Shannon, a communications engineer, built upon the work of colleagues to invent a now famous information theory, shown here. While Shannon's work was meant as a mathematical basis for calculating the amount of information transmitted through a communications channel, it was nevertheless a breakthrough that recognizes information and that lingers in the collective imagination of information science. The DIKW Pyramid. In 1934, the English poet T.S. Eliot wrote, Where is the wisdom we have lost in knowledge? Where is the knowledge we have lost in information? This provocation may be the source of a controversial but enduring notion that has been kicking around information science for decades. That is, data, information, knowledge, and wisdom can be cast as a set of related concepts arrayed in a pyramid, sequence, or chain. The arrangement suggests a progression from simple to more complex phenomena and from objective to more subjective ways of knowing. There have been many vehement critiques of the DIKW idea. Nevertheless, it is one of the most intuitive and accessible conceptions of information. Social epistemology. In philosophy, epistemology refers to the way an individual knows or fails to know something. In the 1950s, American library theorists Margaret Egan and Jesse Shera proposed a cultural equivalent that they called social epistemology. Social epistemology, they wrote, lifts the study of intellectual life from that of the individual to the means by which society, nation, or culture achieves an understanding relationship with the total environment. Social epistemology focuses upon the flows of all kinds of communication throughout the entire social fabric and it was posited as a theoretical foundation for the library. Unfortunately for information science, this big and tantalizing idea fizzled and was reinvented decades later, though not centered upon the library. Relevance. It has been written that relevance is the central concept of information science. Or when a person asks a question of a librarian or an information system, we want the response or answer to be relevant. Relevance is the property of a text being potentially helpful to a user in the resolution of a need. 
In its simplest sense, relevance is reduced to the topicality of a document. Though traditionally seen as an individual judgment, relevance or irrelevance is to some degree socially constructed within different communities. Undiscovered public knowledge. The reality is that scholarly literatures grow to enormous sizes and become fragmented and specialized, resembling our ever-expanding cosmos. It can happen that questions or problems which emerge in one corner of the documentary universe might be answered or solved by discoveries made in a different corner, if only someone noticed. This is the basis of the big idea of undiscovered public knowledge, hatched by the physicist turned information scientist Donald Swanson in the 1980s. Undiscovered public knowledge suggests that literatures withhold far-flung but complementary information that is awaiting discovery. Here, here, information science. The documentary universe is mysterious and more than a sum of its parts. The principle of least effort. The principle of least effort is the closest thing the field of information science has to a universal theory of information behavior. It has been proven in research over decades and across different situations that most researchers will choose easily available sources, even if they are of low quality, rather than expending greater effort for higher quality sources. Google may be definitive proof which should guide the design of all information systems, sources, and services. Information science is a meta-discipline. Where is information science located on any map or framework of the academic disciplines? According to Marcia Bates, information science is a meta-discipline. She explains that there is a traditional spectrum of the arts and humanities, social and behavioral sciences, and natural sciences and math. Information science operates at one conceptual level higher, alongside education and communications. From this elevated position, we are better able to facilitate the processes of knowledge, production, dissemination, and safekeeping. Information meta theories. In the early 2000s, the epistemological landscape of information science was cast in a new and more variegated way by the introduction of meta theory. Meta theories are the often unarticulated premises upon which empirical research and theory are based. Broader and less specific than theories, they are orientation strategies to the world. In a landmark paper on meta theory, cognitive constructivism, collectivism, and social constructionism were identified as three powerful lenses or isms of information science. Later, upwards of a dozen additional meta theories were named. This big idea helped information science become more aware of its interplaying perspectives that each supplies its own conception of information. Indigenous ways of knowing. There are new big ideas on the horizon of information science. And as this video ends, I'll recognize one, indigenous ways of knowing. A complex term that defies a simple or universal definition, indigenous knowledges refer to the ways of teaching, learning, and knowing that exist across diverse indigenous communities. Such approaches may be social, orally transmitted, intergenerational, holistic, spiritual, reciprocal, local, applied, and grounded in the earth. Indigenous ways of knowing recognize information phenomena not engaged by information science, yet that are crucial to the future of the planet. Thanks for taking this road trip through 10 big ideas of information science. I hope you've enjoyed the document, the Bradford distribution and information itself. For your scrapbook, here are photos of the DIKW pyramid and social epistemology. And here are postcards from relevance and undiscovered public knowledge. Check out these souvenirs of the principle of least effort and information science is a meta-discipline. Going forward, consider what's your information meta-theory and how can information science honor indigenous ways of knowing. The description box below provides links to additional resources and to a fun crossword puzzle that reviews these big ideas. Check out my other videos on information science and subscribe to my YouTube channel in videos. Goodbye.